on this video i am going to tell you and show you how to fight like mike tyson this video is a complete boxing tutorial on mike tyson's fighting style after watching this video you will learn how to shed box like mike tyson how mike tyson generates so much power in his punches how to change angles like mike tyson how to counter punch like mike tyson the number system that was used by mike tyson and how to get mike tyson's head movement so this video is a complete package for you make sure you stick till the end and don't miss any part of the video let's get started first of all you have to understand his stance rather than a traditional boxing stance when you are here in this style you are a lot more square with both feet pointing forward your both hands are up in front of your face to protect the chin right arm protecting the liver and left arm protecting the body shots and solar plexus hands below the eyes to not block the peripheral vision with this stance you can easily move forward as well as to the sides but this stance not helps in the backward movement i don't think so we ever seen mike tyson moving back after getting the stance right now you will learn how mike tyson generates so much power in his punches there are two reasons the first reason is the body rotation when mike tyson punches he completely turns into the punch let's take that left hook as an example when mike tyson throws that left hook he performs three rotations the first one is that shoulder rotation the second one is that hip rotation and the third one is that foot rotation just like this <laughs> The second reason is he loads his punches by loading his feet. When he slips a punch, he loads his feet. Like when he slips towards his left, he puts weight on that left foot so that he can load that left hand to throw that left hook. When he slips towards his right, he puts weight on that right foot so that he can load that right hand for that right cross or right hook. So loading up punches and body rotations are the reasons that Mike Tyson generates so much power in his punches. Imagine there is a rod in your body. You can't move forward or backwards. All you can do is turn your body. <coughs> Let's talk about Mike Tyson's head movement. He keeps his hands up, chin down and moves aggressively, slipping straight punches in a side to side motion. and also bobbing and weaving around punches in a u shape he keeps a constant variety of head movement to keep the opponent guessing his trainer always told him that when you throw straight punches move your head 3 times and when you throw hooks move your head twice that's the method that he used to slip punches takes a step with his left foot to slip left then takes a step with his right foot to slip right left right left right in this way mike tyson slips punches and moves forward aggressively back then mike tyson's trainer used a number system he call out different numbers and then mike tyson throws that particular punch combo like one is for that jab to the head two is for that right cross to the head three is for that left hook four is for that right hook 5 is for that lead uppercut 6 is for that rear uppercut 7 is for that jab to the body 8 is for that liver punch 9 is for that right hook to the body and 10 is for that right cross to the body so this helped mike tyson a lot throughout his career mike tyson was also great at changing angles he always attacks his opponent from different angles that's how he changes angle like if he wants to change angle towards the left first he will bring that right foot here and then take a step with that left foot in speed it looks like this <coughs> if he wants to change angle towards right first he will bring that left foot here and then take a step with that right foot in speed it looks like this <coughs> the common mistake is taking a step first with this here your stance is too wide and you will be off balance when mike tyson change angles and he is on the side of the opponent 
it's difficult for his opponent to hit him and he throw punches with the worst kind of intentions to knock out his opponent he was also great at counter punching he moves his head to avoid punches and then attacks he dips low so that when his opponent misses he can come back with his own counter punch this boxing style is a mixture of aggressiveness and defensiveness so mike tyson keeps dodging those punches and when he sees an opening he launches that counter attack so yes guys that was all for today hope you guys like my video enjoy my video you can also subscribe my youtube channel where i upload lots of boxing education videos for you guys see you soon in the coming video